Mammograms are the gold standard in the detection of breast cancer. The CDC says they're the best test available to help doctors find breast cancer early before it can be felt. But there is one type of breast cancer that's not usually detected with a mammogram. As Channel 2 health reporter Haley Hernandez explains, Houston's MD Anderson Cancer Center is on a mission to make sure that women know their options. The sound of Elsie Spry playing the harp brings peace to those who listen. But that's where Elsie's serenity ends, because she has a bone to pick about information not being disclosed to women. And at some point it may have been healthy tissue, but they didn't watch it. Elsie was hyper vigilant about getting mammograms because her mother died from breast cancer. Year after year, she got the call of relief that her scans were normal, healthy tissue, but now she knows they weren't. I was just shocked because I had, I thought, you know, dotted my I's and crossed my T's. She had lobular carcinoma. It's the second most common kind of breast cancer, but it looks different than most tumors because it's thin and fibrous across the breast. It looks like, you know, I'm a well-marbled piece of meat, right? Um, that's what it looks like because it, it doesn't clump. It lines up. After frustration with doctors missing her cancer, she temporarily moved to Houston for treatment at MD Anderson Cancer Center. Radiologist Dr. Eric Strom says Elsie's kind of cancer is mostly invisible on mammograms, which is why Elsie's doctors in Pennsylvania missed it. On mammogram, we see a density. In lobular carcinoma, it tends to go along the tissue planes and doesn't distort anything. So you don't have an area of distortion, you don't have a dense mass, and it can be completely completely invisible on a mammogram. Dr. Strom says doctors should be looking for it anyway, and there are effective tools to see lobular carcinoma. An MRI would be one, but he says there's a risk of every and all women getting MRIs. If I start subjecting patients who have active breasts, all the premenopausal patients to MRIs, I'm going to be biopsying lots of normal tissue as well. But Elsie is still pushing for it. She's working with lawmakers in her home state of Pennsylvania to make breast MRI screening a reality because she says had she known, she would have chosen to get one no matter the cost. If I had known that mammograms don't see the second most common breast cancer and the sixth most common cancer for women overall, I would have paid out of pocket. Radiologists and cancer advocates say although MRIs can detect lobular carcinoma, there's a high cost and a higher chance of false positives. So Dr. Strom says the solution may be to talk to your doctor if you feel a change in your breast and insist on seeing a specialist if they don't give you a reason for the change. Remember, breast cancer isn't always a lump. Elsie described hers as a thickening of the tissue. Haley Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.